Hello, I'm Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics and today I'm going to ink a page. So let's get started on that. Here I have uh, my goofy little 2x4 on a clipboard. That's how I do it. I don't have any fancy contraption other than that. But uh, here we go. So here's my page. I'm inking it and uh, let's see here. Got some new pens I've never used before, so I'm going to work through that. But I've got my typical, my usual ones that I use. So this is page 18 of Peter Pan the Vampire, the fourth issue. And uh, let's see, let's get going on it then. Let's see, do I want to use fine or small? I think for this part right here I'm going to use medium. So this is a Faber-Castle pen I got at the local art store and they are what I use. As you can see when I turn my clipboard the whole thing moves with it. That's one of the reasons I made it like this is so that when I turn my art you're still seeing it straight on. So yep, yeah, let's get inking. Just drawing the hair line of Peter Pan here. Not much to it, just a bunch of lines, right? Oh, I turned my thing, huh? There we go. So if you ever have any questions about how I draw or how I do things and you want to know how something is done whatever um, hit me up in comments or on social media say hey uh, I was wondering if you would ever do a show with this topic say oh yeah I'm drawing a blank right now on what I was, where I was going with that. Um, let's see. This is Paley's hand in here, and I'm going to go with the fine tip to draw the fire. Is Paley is. Uh, she is a volcano goddess in Hawaiian mythology. And so her body is always burning up like lava. Very hot. So if she taps you on the shoulder like she is uh, Peter Pan here, it is going to hurt. So when I color this hand is going to be orange with the lava texture underneath it. There as the coloring. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. 
give you the sense that there's a lot of heat here. Suggestion of a finger nail here. Little wisps of fire. smoke going off the panel. As you can see I uh, whoop, I'm turning again. That was not my intention. As you can see I draw in non-photo blue. That is to make it easier when I go to the uh, the scanning in process. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use a brush pen to finish off the hair here. That way I can clip it in and won't be tempted to move it like I just did. thickest what is even is this pen no I don't like that whatever that is here I've got a uh, Prismacolor pen Oop, nope too soft See what that does. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. A solid line so I can uh, fill in my panel here. I should have done my panels first, but whoop, that's why. definite for the other panels here. Use my medium. So I don't know uh, how many of you out there who make comics um, actually do it on paper or if you're a little more high tech and you're doing it on the uh, styluses and what are those 
Wacom tablets, Wacom tablets. If you are, let me know how you how you like those. Um, I'm kind of afraid to try them myself. That's just me. I'm kind of weird. I think on that panel right there, I'm going to freehand those. Instead of using a ruler. Not that I'm really getting that straight of a line with my ruler. What the heck is going on with me today? A straight line. Who would have figured? And let's see. Straighten that up. Oh, and then I move some pressure on it so it doesn't go underneath the ruler. There we go. Now I'm going to freehand. these panels right here. Just want something kind of loose and wiggly. Another straight line going up there. Give it a little turn. And there we go. Nice. Okay, now I can clip this piece in so I am not tempted to move it anymore. Alright, let's see here, what pen do I want? Go back to uh, the fine, finish out Paley here. panel is done. Move on to, let's see, I'm going to switch from fine to small. So this is another fabric castle pin. If you can see that. And uh, I'm going to use this one on the very small details here. Or, actually, let's give these guys a try. I've got a point eight from, uh, let's see, these are Microns pens. I have never used these before. I just barely got them in the mail from uh, Wish. And that is a super fine. Let's see how fine that lamp is. Wow, that is very, very fine. How much finer is it compared to the Faber Castle? Okay, they are relatively the exact same, so that should be okay. And here's Pele. There we go. I'm liking that. 
I hope my head is not in the shot here. You don't have to look at my weird head. And draw some flames here around Paley. That has been one of the struggles of having a character who is molten lava and burns her clothes off. So I have to draw her naked a few times, yet still have it PG enough that I'm not embarrassed my kids are looking at it. Right? So. Sorry if I've gotten quiet. I don't know what to say during this part. Um, I guess I could talk about some of the things I do while I'm... Uh, uh oh, I think my kids are home. I can hear some little voices. Yep, there's my kids. We were going to kill it. That's good. But we're gonna um we're not 